when it comes to the war in Ukraine, a lot of people get this wrong. You see, this is not something that started in 2022 or even in 2014 or 2009. This goes back a hundred years, okay? Because we just won't leave the Russians alone. When they had the Bolshevik Revolution in 1917, do you know what we did? We actually invaded Russia. I don't think many people know this, but England sent 70,000 troops to invade the Russians. The United States also invaded Russia under, under what's called the Expeditionary Force. Even after the war ended in 1918, we were still attacking the Russians with chemical weapons. And then in World War II, when the Russians were the first to reach Berlin, when the Russians destroyed the German army, when the Russians inflicted 80%, 80% of German casualties. We again punished them because they reached the capital first, they were in Berlin first, and you had this immense power in struggle. You know, this country, this largest country on earth has a better army than us, the one that destroyed the Nazi war machine. And so even before World War II ended, you got Winston Churchill saying that the next war is gonna be against the Russians. And so now you have the entire Cold War going on for 50 years in various theaters of war. Uh, mainly in Europe, but also in Afghanistan, in Africa, and, and so on, and we just won't leave the Russians alone. And then after the Russians lost the Cold War in the 1990s, we start splitting Yugoslavia, right? Because Yugoslavia, it's not Russian, but it's next in line. It's like a salami tactic, right? So it's the first one in line on the way to Russia. So we just keep, you know, a balkanizing planet, just like we did 100 years earlier in, in, in the Middle East. We do the same thing again in Yugoslavia. We bomb the crap out of them. We split them up and carve them up into little pieces. We splinter them. Now you've got countries, you know, bit by bit joining NATO, which would have been unthinkable. These are Warsaw Pact countries. So we lied to the Russians to get them to accept German reunification. And then as soon as that happened, you know, we turn around and the, the very thing that we said we wouldn't do, which is expand NATO past Germany. And now we start surrounding Russia with more and more NATO countries. And then comes Ukraine, which is the last chip, right? It's the last thing before Russia. And you have 2014 with the Maidan coup. And it's not about making the case for the Russians or feeling sorry for the Russians. It's about waking people up that this war in Ukraine now, that's happening now, this is something that's been going on for a hundred years. In the Russian psyche, they have, of course, Hitler in mind. They have the American and British invasion in mind. They also have Charles VII. They have Napoleon in mind. So it's just one European leader after the next, invading them, bombing them, attacking them, and just won't leave them the goddamn hell alone.